The demo today consists of showing WebLogic server running in a Kubernetes cluster. We have a WebLogic domain that consists of an admin server, a WebLogic cluster with five pre-configured managed servers, two in running state. And then I will show different ways to scale the WebLogic cluster. I will define a WLDF policy that looks at open session counts. And if the open session count goes over one, then it will scale the WebLogic cluster by starting a managed server in the cluster. I'll use also the Kubernetes control command to scale and shrink the cluster by, by increasing or decreasing the number of stateful sets in the cluster, which will cause Kubernetes to either start pods or terminate pods. I want to also show the WebLogic monitoring exporter. The WebLogic monitoring exporter, a web app deployed to the WebLogic cluster, which collects WebLogic metrics and exposes them in a format that can be readable by Prometheus and Grafana. I will show you the data in Prometheus and I will also show you Grafana dashboards that depict the metrics collected by the exporter. So let's get started. So this is the starting state of my WebLogic domain. I have a domain, each server running in its own pod. So I have one admin server and two managed servers. And then I have Prometheus running in its own pod and Grafana running in its own pod as well. Let's start by going to the WebLogic admin console. You can see here that we have the admin server and two managed servers in running state. The rest of the managed servers, which have been pre-configured because this is a configurable cluster, uh, are in shutdown state. I will run a scale action to increase the number of managed servers running in my WebLogic cluster by scaling the stateful set by one. So if now I look at the, the pods that are running in my system, uh, a third managed server, managed server two, the pod is running already and the managed server is starting. So now the managed server has gone to running state. If we look at the console, we see MS2 now is also in running state. So now let's shrink the cluster. So I run the exact same command, but my number of replicas is gonna be two. As soon as I do that, I can see that my pod that's running managed server two is terminating. If I look now, my managed server two has shut down. So let's look in the console. And we can see we're down to only two managed servers running in the WebLogic cluster. So as I uh, said before, the WebLogic server team has built a tool called the WebLogic Monitoring Exporter, which is collecting different metrics from the different managed servers running in the cluster. These metrics are gathered by Prometheus, and you can see here all the different metrics that are collected. We can choose to see a particular one, let's say uptime, uptime for the servers, and if I do execute, I can see the graph. So I can see that I have three managed servers, and then I can see the console, so it tells me uh, the number of, I guess it's milliseconds, that the servers have been up. And then Grafana has three dashboards. The first one shows the same graph I just showed you in Prometheus, servers, uptime. So you can see I have um, managed server zero, which has been up the whole entire time, and that's the yellow line. And then the green line, the blue line is MS1. And then uh, MS2, which is the one that I just started. 
the next thing I'll show you is the WLDF rule that I created to uh, scale up automatically the WebLogic cluster. So if I go to Diagnostics, Diagnostic Modules, Policies and Actions, let's look at our policy, my scale up policy. And the rule expression uh, tells you that if uh, the open session current count is larger than one in the web app called Open Session App, then scale, do an action of scale up action. Okay, so let's invoke the open session count. There, let's look at Grafana. So the second, um, the second dashboard shows you that uh, there has been an open session. And then if we go and we do get pods, we see MS2 is just started. There, MS2 has gone to running state. If we look at Grafana, MS2, which is the green line, should start increasing. The next thing I wanted to show you is load balancing. So we are using a load balancer here in, in Kubernetes. And I will show you uh, load balancing across the managed servers in the cluster, MS2, MS1, MS0, okay? Now, if I run uh, the memory load app, what it will do is it will spike use of memory in the JVM and it will cause a REST call to a webhook that will call Kubernetes to scale the cluster. So let's do that now. So there we see in the bottom graph that there is a spike in memory use. And that also shows an open session count, but because it the app is a different app, it's not the open session app, but the memory load app, it will uh, not invoke the WLDF rule. But a new managed server uh, should be started. So let's do our get pods. And there we see it. So now we have four managed servers in running state. Let's go to our admin console. And there it is. And that concludes the demo.